This is actually a really simple thing to do and I've been using it in my classroom more. Um, it's just got a couple really basic rules. So you have five minutes and during the five minutes you ask as many questions as possible. You do not stop to discuss the questions. You don't try to answer any of the questions. It's all completely focused on the question generating process. Um, and you write down the questions as exactly as they are stated. So. Um, I have this tendency, I'm sure some of you guys are guilty of this as well, when a student asks a question, if we're putting questions up on the board, and they ask a question that's like pretty close to the question that I wanted them to ask, but not exactly, I'll be like, I think what you mean is, and then I'll write the question that I wanted. So in this case, since it's their language, we want them to take ownership of it, we put it down and their group puts it down exactly as the person who asked it, asked it. So don't alter the vocabulary. And then if someone makes a statement, then you change it into a question. So we wind up with as many questions as possible. And then there's a follow-up step where you're actually gonna be going back and analyzing the questions and thinking about the types of questions that were asked. But you don't do any of that during those five minutes. The goal is to just make a huge list. The, the stimulus for this, when you do this in the classroom, is always based around um, usually an image, like something like a lot of times I'll use like paintings or art or a photograph. And so the idea is that we look at this and then we have five minutes to write down every question that we can think of related to that. Um, so what we have here is essentially the graphic that's created to talk about how the standards are supposed to guide instruction. Um, so we've got exploring the standards, which is really a big part of the year one focus developing questions, which we did a lot of last year, and you can see that this activity is a continuation of that, gathering resources, which we did some of last year, and we're doing more of now, and then communicating conclusions and taking informed action.